To perform the group test for finger PIP, or proximal interphalangeal joint extension, uh, the patient is seated at the table with the arm supported on the table. Uh, you provide uh, resistant or stabilization rather uh, at the proximal phalanx. The MP joint is in about 90 degrees of uh, flexion for this test. And then the IP joint is slightly flexed for this test. So you stabilize the proximal uh, phalanx. And then resistance is given on the dorsal surface of the middle phalanx. Uh, and you, the resistance is given into flexion. So he's trying to straighten and you're trying to flex. So right there, I want you to hold that. Don't let me move it. Hold, 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 hold. Good. And uh, this does not take a lot of pressure to, to break this movement. Uh, so you have to get a feel for what normal is with this one. The group test is done for the finger. It's the group of primarily the interosseous muscles, uh, the lumpricles and the um, palmar and dorsal interosseous muscles that perform this movement. So each finger will have its own group test for that group of muscles that straightens out the PIP joint.